the two and one from LeBlanc. As that one is popped into right field, Hansen is under it and it's gone. The third pitch of the game, excuse me, the fourth pitch of the game is drilled into right field and oppo boppo there for Carter Hansen as David takes a one nothing lead over the Minutemen. Yeah, I mean, just a good piece of hitting. He got really good contact on the ball, and there's the celebration. A slugger there for Davidson. The 1-1. One, one. As that one is hit into right field and deep, going back at the track, at the wall, and that one is gone as well. Another home run for Davidson. It is Ryan Wilson who continues his slugfest, and Davidson now takes a 2-0 lead over the Minutemen. Yeah, just back-to-back -back home runs for Davidson. They Here is the two and two. Strike three, swings and misses. Jack Catrone is down on strikes and the U Schomburg is hit deep into left field. Going back at the wall and that one is gone. Nolan Tickey with a home run for the Minutemen, his third of the season and he brings them back into this game. It is now eight to two, Davidson. Well, what an answer, you know, you don't let two, two outs. Looking to see if he can get himself out here. Pitch. That was hit into left field and deep going back and that will drop. Will Hoyt hits himself a double and Teresa will score to give Davidson a nine to two lead over UMass. So a bit of a response there from UMass's good last inning as Davidson puts up a run, kind of hugs the 3-1 the, the to Justin Blumenthal as that is grounded to third and it will be a 5-4-3 double play to end the game. So the Davidson Wildcats take a 9-2 victory over the Massachusetts Minutemen on this cold, brisk, windy, Amherst afternoon. Thank you all for tuning in. My name is Noah Glickman alongside Brennan McGrevy. It has been a pleasure to serve you today.